Hi everyone. Now, what, I'm, what these are. Now, basically this is a collection of Clyde style wet flies. Now these are night flies. Now I didn't tie these. I was given these many years ago by an old gentleman who fished the River Clyde all his life. And uh, he, let, he let me have these. I always keep a hold of them. I treasure these flies. And as you can see, they're actually tied on the old blind eye uh, hook. This one, as you can see, with an island. Now, traditionally it was used to cut, but uh, the years went on, obviously, they started using some nylon. And there's different colours there, as you can see, different thicknesses. Now, I'm going to be tying this fly here. This is the uh, hen black, you know. Why he did what he helped me with, anyway. When he gave me, he actually put a wee piece of paper beside it. And you can see here, hen black. Eh? Now, that's this one here. Now, I'm going to be tying it with the materials I have. And what I've tied... Uh, basically for, for the years I've had it. I mean it's a hen black uh, bird uh, feather can be used to tie the, uh, the obviously as a hackle uh, and then the wing you could uh, remember using them as a wing years ago but basically I'm going to be using starling and just a, a natural black uh, hen neck so quite a simple flight tie but I thought I'd let you see it now uh, thread I'm going to be sticking to the old piezos this is piezo silk oh, it's upside down there you go uh, this is uh, the traditional salt. This is just a primrose yellow. Now, the first thing I've got to do with these old salts is to wax them. Make sure you wax them, protect them, and gives you plenty of grip. Now I'm going to be tying it in a size, this is a size 12. So I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can actually see the fly. There we are. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to actually start a bit head length away from the eye. I'm going to work down to the point of the hook. Just before I get there, I'll remove the waste, and then I'm going to work my way back up. Just basically touching turns with the thread. When I get to the head there, just where I'm going to be tying in the wing. Now, this, believe it or not, I found this out the back door. This is off a of starling, and so I'm going to be using these fibres up, or uh, using this feather, sorry. Now what I'm going to do is I'm using a single feather. I'm going to roll or fold the wing. Uh, it's a great way of using up these feathers. I'm just basically bring it 90 degrees out and then when I bring them out, just bring my fingers up a wee bit further from the stem of the feather and I'm going to try and oh, we'll marry back these feathers, fibers. Just marry them back together because they will separate slightly. And don't worry about it if they do, just pull them together. When you're happy enough, what I like to do then is tear it away from the, the feather. Now I'm going to be Oh, there's enough off here and making sure it's all married together uh, so that when I can, fo I can fold it at least uh, three times so I'm going to fold it in from the top down and into itself so you're seeing the outside of the feather not the inside you can do it both ways but I'm doing it to the inside so I'm into the next third so there we are so just folding it in and then I'm just bringing my fingers through and there's the wing that's enough to re represent the wing. Now I want the wing to come to the back of the hook. It can be as long or as short as you like. I like it to the back of the hook, which is there. It's going to pinch and loop on the top. Get the material right close to the body. You see how it's going to sit, and then I'm just going to bring the ends together. Now that's fine. Check in the length. Now don't be shy. And the bigger flies, uh, you want a reasonable wing on it. Now that looks... Uh, not too bad, I'll just keep it like that, it's best to leave it. Uh, we trim away the excess. Now the thread is waxed, so I'm going to make sure it's tied in. Now the piezo salts are thick. I mean there's two tons holding there, but that's equivalent to probably six tons of uni thread. Uh, and because it's waxed, it holds, it holds really well, you can see it's sitting fine. Now. I'm going to save a bit of bulk by tying in. This is the black hen neck I'm using. It's just a black hen. Uh, I'm just going to take a feather out. No, no, the fibre length is up to yourself. Just going to bring it out so you can see. You see the length of the fibre. There we are. It's, if you put the stem against the shank, you can see how long it's going to be. Happy with the length of that. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to take away what fibre I don't want. And you catch the tip of the hackle, 
with the small hackle pliers here it makes it easier and then draw back the fibre just like that now catch it in oh, first thing we do sorry is just trim it so I'll leave enough to tie it in so we tough there now the front of the hackle facing the eye leave it fiddly but we can get it in there just stick it in for one now I'm just going to go back push it forward one, two, three, four turns there just to make sure it's secure. Get my hackle pliers. Now I'm just going to fold back. Now it's a delicate fly. Uh, people say to me, do the last, they do last. Um, these, you'd be surprised how well they do. And uh, so I'm just going to fold back the hackle fibers as I wind forward. Nice straight turns. Just look at the, the turns you're doing. Uh, I'm using up as I say the full all, all this feather, just nice and straight. One turn in front of the other. I'm going to follow up with the, the thread in the last turn. Just going to basically fold back the stem, trim it away, and then what finish. Tighten up. Now the wax is obviously holding the thread really well. Trim away your thread. And there we go. And there you go, that's just a hen blackie, as we call it, or a, a slight variant obviously because I haven't used the original material, but it's this will give a great impression of it. Now all I'm going to do now is just a wee touch of varnish on the head all the way around. So you don't need a perfect right and left feather to get a reasonable wing and once you start to cast this, and it's a nice soft fibre on the, the starling. And there we go. And that there is, a, as I say, a slight variant of the Clyde fly. I'll show you the original. Just I'll take it off the, the card. This is a fly, as I say, I didn't tie this, but this is an old fly. An old, old gentleman gave me that. And that will give a great impression of it. So there we are. Uh, I mean, these are years old. These are old, old. They're getting a bit uh, coloured as well. The thread colours going and so on. But they're, they're nice old flies. Though. So anyway, there we are. Nice fly, nice old pattern, so I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching.